I wasn't defending cheating. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If you cheat, that's rotten of you. It's very selfish. It shows that you probably don't have a whole lot of integrity. I was explaining why some men do cheat. I think sometimes when you know why someone did something to you, it's a little bit easier to move on. For me, I was in a long-term relationship and I was cheated on for a few years. And it was one of the most painful things I had to go through. We were engaged and I thought I was going to marry this guy. So to go from making plans, like life plans with this guy, to realizing that I was going to break it off permanently was a huge jump. That's why even in my video, I was saying you are under no obligation to keep the relationship going or stay with the person who cheated on you. I know some people do end up working it out, but I don't think anyone should feel obligated to do that. I personally wouldn't. Anyone that cheats on me, I, I break off the relationship and I'm done. But I have made countless videos talking about how shitty cheating is. I also think it's important to look at the whole relationship when you've been cheated on as well. Because usually before cheating happens, there's like a down spiral of your relationship like things are slowly getting worse problems aren't getting resolved there's resentment building up again not justifying the cheating but if you look at some of those things that happened before the cheating and where you might have contributed to it sometimes it puts you in a better position to have better relationships down the road or maybe find like red flags so you can rule certain people out and maybe not get cheated on again in my case, my ex was really close to a lot of people who did things like cheating or they treated their partner badly. He told me a lot of like little lies here and there that I thought nothing of. I should have seen that as a bigger red flag. But I was also guilty of some of the other behaviors that when we would get in arguments to try to resolve some of our issues, I was just making things a little bit worse. Like there's this term called kitchen sinking where you bring up all of the issues in your relationship and just kind of pile it on rather than and bringing up one issue at a time and working through it one by one. I was very guilty of that. Also, there were some really toxic things that he did do during our arguments, like trying to argue my feelings with me or completely invalidate everything that I was bringing up. But also part of the reason why I made that video is I've, I've been seeing more and more women posting videos of them crying, talking about how their ex cheated on them and they just don't understand why. And I feel a lot of empathy towards these women because it can be hard when you feel like you were a great partner and they still cheated on you. You feel like you did everything right. Right, and you're kind of sitting there like, why? So I was hoping with that video to, you know, maybe enlighten some of these women or people in general on, okay, they cheated probably because of that. That seems to correlate with it. So they could kind of get themselves some closure and move on. And of course, that may not be accurate. I think sometimes giving yourself a reason for things, even if it's not 100% accurate, can help you work through things. So my intentions were that with that video were positive. I guess I just did not do a very good job communicating in that video.